Greetings and good afternoon again, my brothers and sisters. Pastor Stanley Ivy here again one more time as we seek to do reflections and pointers because as we pray over these 21 days and God's willing further, we want to have also morning or uh, day pointers, our uh, guidelines as to the 21 gates of the Spirit. We have gone through a number of gates already. We are now at gate, we are now at day seven, and we are now at gates number six, Revelation gate, gate of the Spirit. And we are going to look at that today, and we want, by the grace of God, to look at it. So we said we would have loved to do, we'd have loved, I would have loved to do revel intuition and revelation together. But we, we, we separate them because of what we are doing daily. However, they, they, they work together. So to begin that, we want us to understand revelation, a very important concept. Divine knowledge, information, wisdom are things you could not know otherwise. Revelation. Amen. We now move from intuition to revelation. So that which we receive through intuition, when it transits from our spiritual man to our minds where we understand and reason, then it becomes a revelation, something that is revealed. Revelation don't create things, but revelation show what is already there. So it's like you're in a room where everything is there, the bed and everything is in the room, but the light is off at night. The things don't move, but once you flip the switch on, then you see what was already there. Revelation is like that. God reveals to us, shows things that is already there. So let's move on quickly. Intuition, my brothers and sisters, go through a particular process. We call it channel. It's just for clarity's sake. It, the correct channel is from the Spirit to you, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to the human spirit, to your mind. We call it the channel. So the text that we will be looking at is 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 8, but in particular verses 8 to 11 that speaks about the gifts of the Spirit, the manifestation of the Spirit. And there's a verse in 1 John 2, 27, talk about the anointing that teaches. We want to look at those as we seek to do a few minutes. Praise the Lord. So let's go. As, uh, let's continue. Now, Whenever God speaks to us, he speaks from the inside out. So from his spirit, the Holy Spirit, to our spirit, to the mind. Satan, on the other hand, what he does to divination, divination is on the other hand where Satan, our demon, our familiar spirit, speaks to our spirit and sends it from the spirit to our mind. And then people prophesy, or sometimes a prophesy, and prophesy by divination. The issue is this, we cannot judge people by the information only. If the source is wrong, the message or the prophecy or the knowledge people postulate from to have, it may be correct, there may be correct knowledge or facts, but if the source or channel through which they came is not from the Spirit of God. It is through divination, a.k.a. familiar spirit, a.k.a. sorcery. We don't want those within the Church of God. Amen? We want people who speak, and whenever we do speak, we speak from the Spirit of God. So we cannot allow every thought to come to, that comes to our mind to run with it and say the Spirit. Just in case, the enemy is putting it there. We need to take every thought captive to obedience of Christ. Amen? Intuition and discernment clarify the source of information. So not because somebody is speaking factual thing to you. For example, in some quarters, people love telling where you live. Goodness, mercy, man, me know where me live and me know my name. Tell me something that makes sense. Me know where me live, me know my name. So, familiar spirit can tell you where me live and where my name. And you can look me up on the internet and find where me live sometime and where my name. So, me no need you to tell me that and say the Lord said that. Tell me something else that 
will tell me, say, yes, this is of the Spirit of God, because revelation is knowledge that you could not know on a normal basis. Amen? So we can't judge I should not judge or call people woman of God or man of God because they spoke something factual to you about your present or factual to you about your past. Divination, familiar spirit, demonic spirit can give them that information. So we need to have other measures by which we judge and we call it discernment of spirit. Intuition from God. The person may be speaking things that sound correct and may be factual, but there's a there's a there's a there's something in your spirit that is saying something ain't right, and that is a part of the intuitive knowledge that God gives that the church cannot and should not be deceived. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Everything in your life moves at the speed of revelation. Everything in the kingdom grows at the speed of revelation. That is why people who just get saved, if they can grasp, if they can walk in the knowledge and the revelation from the Spirit of God, they pass people who sit down there for 20, 30 years because ears in the church by itself don't give you maturity. Ears in, your, in the church by itself don't give you authority. It is how you receive that word process that word and live out that word revelation is what changes the nation amen and revelation is what brings god's people into a life that is meaningful and rich let's move on to some other points so we say if you are going to grow and progress and mature as a believer it must be by revelation we must grow and develop by revelation we must be able to, one, know the written revelation of God. And then God can speak to us further on the written revelation. Because the Bible says God didn't write everything that we would love to know in the word of God. He didn't say that. But he said the Holy Spirit shall guide you into all truth. So there are times when you can find a verse in particular specifically to the issue. For example, you want to go to town. Or you want to go to a particular place, you can't necessarily find that in the scripture. Thou shall not, thou shall not go. But having prayed, you lean to the intuitive voice of the Spirit and you can get the answer or the release to go. We dealt with the whole idea of, of what we call intuition. Now we are looking at revelation. So revelation brings to light things that intuition picks up from God so that we can use it to bring ourselves and others to a greater, richer walk in Jesus Christ. Amen. My people are destroyed, the scripture says, for lack of knowledge. For lack of knowledge. And as I close, I find that the Lord show me quite often, very disturbing, where a lot of us as even teachers and preachers all we do sometimes is to summarize people's commentaries, summarize people's arguments, and we teach them, and we preach them. And we have never heard from God pertaining to those matters for ourselves. We are only preaching and teaching reported speech. No wonder sometimes when God begins to speak, and you begin to really look at the scriptures for yourself, you realize that your nonsense sometimes we have been taught. Okay, it was done out of good mind, good intention. But I'm saying revelation is what brings us to a place where we can say, God, I want to hear from you for myself. That's why people are so deceived because we have a man of God and a woman of God that hears from God for us. No, they can hear from God for us in one case, but we must learn to hear from God for ourselves. Brothers and sisters, as we reflect on Revelation, your life is going to progress. Your strength is going to be stronger. Your discernment is going to be better. And your purpose and ministry in God's kingdom will progress, will advance. Mark you. If you get too proud over what you know and the kind of revelation that God gave you, watch out. There may very well be and will be, like Paul, a thorn in the flesh.
And do not go after revelation. Do not go after extra knowledge. Just seek Jesus. Just seek God. And when you find him, all the revelation you need is in him. For the Bible says, in him is hidden all the wisdom and treasures of knowledge and wisdom. And that Paul is saying, that not Paul, John, in First John says, the anointing which we receive is referring to intuition. Teaches you all things. And you don't need any man to teach. He's not saying God don't give us all have any teachers for us. But he's saying, if you walk in the realm of intuition, you don't have to sit down every day and wait on people to teach you and to tell you. God can and will guide you. God bless you. God keep you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your revelation to your people. And may that which we have gotten through revelation transform our lives and keep us humble. For we pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name.